Hello, my name is Lisa Turner and welcome to Psychademy TV. Today's episode is all about how you choose what's in your highest good and how a lot of people don't choose it. So I was running a course and uh, I had a client email me and say that they're not going to take this program because it felt heavy. And I kind of thought, well, you know, maybe it is because, you know, some of our work is heavy. We explore the deep, dark depths and, you know, not everyone's ready to go there. That's how you get enlightenment is to go into the darkness and bring light. And most people think, I'd rather not go into the dark. So, you know, maybe that's why it felt heavy for her. But let's ex just like, extrapolate that idea of only choosing what feels light and fun. Like if we did that, if we only ever chose what felt light and fun and easy, we'd never get down to the gym and we'd sit on the sofa eating cheesecake all day and we know where that would lead to. You know, I recently learned that it takes nine years. Now, I knew it was a long time, but I didn't know it was nine years to become a doctor. Now, I'm guessing that those doctors who train to be doctors don't say, I'm going to take that doctor course because it's light and feels fun. They probably took it because they wanted the end result. And yes, there'd be some fun on the way, but there'd probably be some bit of work, bit of study, bit of challenge. But they knew that it was in their highest good, their greater desire to take that program, to do that work so that they got the end result. So... When you're choosing your spiritual development and your spiritual enhancement, are you choosing it from the process or are you choosing it based on the end result? Because the feelings may be very different. The process may have some heavy aspects to it and it may also have some fun and light aspects to it. But if you choose it, if you say no because it's got any heavy aspects, you may be disregarding the fact that the end result is light, is fun, is expansive. So choose it from the end result, not from whether it feels light or heavy. I've got another thought for you about this heaviness idea. You've probably heard this theory that the thing we, we fear most is our lightness, our greatness, our power. Now what if that heavy feeling is maybe your fear of stepping into your power? your greatness, your magnificence. Because if you, if you never did what was heavy, you'd never step into your magnificence. Now you can choose. Stay on the sofa, eat cheesecake, or you can get down to the gym, push, you know, move some weights, and you get the end result. Let me tell you, I've just been to the gym this morning. I didn't always feel light, but I'm really enjoying the end result. <laughs> so, Post below, what have you stopped yourself doing because it felt heavy that later on you thought, actually, maybe I should have done that. Maybe it would have been better for me. Maybe that was in my highest good. What are you, what's a decision that you're maybe finding that isn't easy right now because the process feels like a challenge, but you really want the end result? Join in the conversation. I will too. Bye for now.